Bonjour, bonjour, welcome back to my channel. I'm the MC, I'm an artist based in Atlanta. I do anime, realism, and illustration. If you'd like to check some of my work, I'm gonna put down below the link of my social media and my portfolio. So I hope you guys are doing great today so far and having a good day. This video was gonna be about the new deck that it's cashed your monsters and the whole deck and the whole engine. I, I was, I can't do it right now because there is so much behind this this deck and and as well there is like its engine is just crazy so i need to have a little more of study about it but i read the comments thank you very much about the last video the comments and the likes and and thank you for being there but i i saw the comment about the new monster and the new deck that is going through Yu-Gi-Oh, and i'm like okay it's just probably gonna be you know easy no it's not so I need to do my research before I sh do a video about this monster and the deck, the cash deer monster. I think it's cash deer, cash, cash deer. I, I am still, I've been practicing how to say it and you guys know I have problems with pronunciation. So um, just bear with me about that. So on Friday, I'm planning on doing like a spooky friday it's gonna be about videos about um kind of like scary movies that i love because i'm a very big fan of scary movies and kind of like uh found footage ghost movies stuff like that so i'm planning on doing on fridays be spooky fridays because usually when um I get out of work or something like that. I like to watch movies, like scary movies, and just play it on the background. So I'm planning on doing that on Friday. Hopefully, I keep up with what I'm saying. I I'm planning on doing during the week just Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So Yu-Gi-Oh and art, of course. And today's video, I just wanted to, um, like I mentioned, I was going to talk about the new deck, but I think I need to put more thought on it before I show up and just be like oh well it's it's an okay engine no it's not so um i'm gonna be putting some of my artwork right here i'm still using digital so i'm probably just gonna be showing some of uh procreate uh program i'm using and i'll probably put down below which brushes i'm using for procreate and to be honest i have to say procreate is one of the awesome um app i've been using like it's very easy and forgivable when you make a mistake you can just undo um i also use adobe photoshop adobe illustration so i'm pretty much aware of the apps of using a digital artwork so i can say procreate is really good if you're starting to use digital art or kind of draw on a tablet i will suggest to use procreate because it's really good especially it gives you a lot of options for brushes compared to i i feel like photoshop is very wide on so many things and you can get confused but it's if you know photoshop how to use photoshop you'll be easily know how to use procreate okay let's get to the good part so there is a lot of youtubers yugi tubers out there they are very wise on everything that is going on with the meta a lot of things what is going on with the decks and of course the engines and they're really good um i consider myself kind of a yugi tuber i love Yu-Gi-Oh, but i love of course i love the engines and all that kind of stuff the decks i have a dark magician deck but the thing is i love the artwork so if you guys know uh Yu -Gi -Oh have so many different art styles and is very inspiring for you if you're starting to draw you can just use them as reference so when i start drawing uh well, it, it, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh was already out there when I was drawing and everything, but what really caught my attention was the monsters, the monsters that Yu-Gi-Oh had. It was very creative. The art style was amazing. Some of them looked like watercolors and some of them looked really like crisp and neat details, just like the dragons, very amazing. Like Blue Eyes White Dragon is it's one of the most famous out there monster from Yu-Gi-Oh and uh during the years and during the time they have upgraded or kind of updated the art style and just updated the cards right so it's it's just amazing how nowadays there is so many art so many styles just like we have the blue eyes white dragon art style we have the 
you know drytron that which is mecca which is amazing by the way that's one of my favorite art styles out there from Yu-Gi-Oh. so there was drytron sushi prank kids zombies madoche we remember about the madoche one was a crazy one uh alistair the invoker which some of you already know i didn't like the invoker it was kind of a crazy deck and kind of a crazy engine of how it was just a loop and then we have the shadows and we remember shadows with some amazing face um i remember back then i was kind of complaining about shadows but at this point i kind of missed that meta to be honest i don't know it was very fun it was very entertaining and now i think the engines are a little too crazy it's just a non-stop loop and it's i think that's just remembering mother shadows kind of remind me the time when i start replaying Yu-Gi-Oh and replaying with trying to build my my uh my dark magician deck which i believe right now my dark magician deck is nothing like it's not gonna stand the tournament so i i think there is always place to update your deck well talking about deck and talking about um uh going a little tangent on the dark magician deck that i have is just i remember my very um, combo i used to like was the the verte anaconda and dragoon which some of you already know there was a lot of controversy about dragoon that was the best combo i will still not win okay but it was a really easily to pull dragoon with verte now that i don't know how verte is doing so far i don't know how their life is going i miss my boy but probably at this point i think they're banned or they are banned i have to go check again and like i said i'm very lost of what's going on i don't know what happened with the last band list so i gotta update myself but um going back to the decks and the design is just amazing how every deck have like an amazing artist behind each one of them and the details are just immaculate like very amazing so um if you're planning on drawing again and just you know or you're starting to draw just you know Yu-Gi-Oh artwork is one of the good way you can use as reference they have a variety of many styles and designs that will suit you and um talking back about the artwork and the designer we know the dark magician how it started and little by little they start adding more dark magician dark magician sorry artwork and cards and support cards and all that and like i said i'm pretty aware my deck is out of date and which it's crazy i've i've added so much on the deck now that to think that probably right now it's not even gonna stand a tournament so going back to the artwork again um the the other one that i really like was mystic mind um i like the artwork but i didn't like the card as you guys know i really had kind of a beef with um <laughs> A mystic mind because it was very an impossible card everybody had it everybody splashed that mystic mind everywhere and um i was even uh friends even told me that you should have mystic mind on my deck which was i'm like no i don't want to take the essence of the dark magician just because i wanted to um be like everybody else that it was gonna take that uh, mystic mind out anytime while you're playing so um, mystic mind artwork was amazing you can kind of see on the artwork that uh, what what the card will do so that's one of the things I like again uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is that they have the artwork and you can kind of see what it's gonna be about just like this hero uh, card as you guys remember is destroyer Phoenix and Forza. you can kind of see which this card will do just by looking at the artwork I, I already did a video about this card i'll put probably down below which video and which i was debating between the red eyes dark dragoon and destroyer phoenix enforcers which bring him talking about dragoon what i really like about red eyes dark dragoon is that it had all the features of how you had to um put these two cards which was red eyes black dragon and the dark magician to create red eyes dark dragoon if you will see the design it have 
features of red eyes and it has features of the dark magician and then you can kind of see what it does and which was a crazy card of course and unfortunately that was one of my favorite cards and i know oh god i need to update all that <sighs> even if i didn't like the card you know um like phoenix enforcer or you know uh mystic mind their artwork is very amazing i'm not going to take that away because obviously even if you hit the 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 card you have to be honest you got to give it for the artist is it just amazing so which card do you hate just put down below a comment which card you don't like not hate which card you don't like from the Yu-Gi-Oh um decks cards kind of uh the whole tcg i know which card you can stand i know there is plenty out there but there must be one that really you're like oh you know i don't i can't stand it so far from all the artwork of Yu-Gi-Oh, i think i've done uh the mecha which is the dry trons if you guys remember i was doing the the play mat with all the dry trons zeus one of my favorite as well card zeus is just amazing and i really love what it does on the field as well so that was a very interesting experience drawing some mecha i'm not very um I don't do it so often drawing mechas because I, it's a it's a it's a lot of work. We can say that it's a lot of work, and and I and I give props for those who draws mecha every time. So that's one of the artwork I've done. Of course, I've done dragon, blue eyes, white dragon, but I kind of did it on my style. On my previous video, you guys saw while I was using Procreate um kind of did a scenario kind of did like a a way of doing a card of Yu-Gi-Oh, but it was the dark uh, i mean i'm sorry it was the blue eyes white dragon and i've been still practicing how i want to merge my my style with the Yu-Gi-Oh artwork so probably i'll be just doing big pieces and just kind of add some information about how strong or what stir stars or status of each card i'm not planning on writing the whole thing below or maybe in the future i'm probably just gonna create i don't know a a series of how i would name a deck so and do the artwork but this week i'll have on my instagram the q a and there you guys can just ask me questions about art some questions about Yu Gi Oh and just questions about like artwork and kind of about the whole thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. So I'll have that video after as well. But so far I want to focus on the one of this deck of the cast year and see what's up with this deck. And hopefully on Fridays I can do the Spooky Friday theme. Kind of talking about scary movies and kind of having an artwork related to the movies. And kind of having, I don't know, probably having some characters like I can have Yu-Gi-Oh, I mean, kind of Yu-Gi-Oh or maybe Pokemon kind of representing the movie that I'm talking about. So um, I'll, guy, I'll, I'll let you guys know. So thank you for watching and I hope you guys are doing great and take care of yourself and I'll see you guys in the next one. Au revoir, à la prochaine.